McLaughlin Parade Field Thursday morning. More than 200 service members competed in the amazing race. The race concludes Fort Meade's Observance of Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, but you can always find out more by going to our homepage, www.ftme.army.mil, and search for SHARP. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a look back at Earth Day and Veterans That Compost. Army 10-miler tryouts coming up and some notes from MWR. But first, the contributions of Fort Meade's thousands of registered volunteers were recognized at the annual Volunteer Recognition Banquet. We're just blessed that we can give special thanks to the uh, like 3,226 volunteers across the installation, across the post and community. They provided over 46,000 hours cumulatively of volunteer service that's worth over $1.2 million in services. Before the annual awards were presented, the Red Cross recognized Kimbrough volunteer Wolfgang, better known as Wolfie Sklar. Sklar hasn't missed a day of volunteering in two years, racking up more than 2,400 volunteer hours. This year's guest speaker was Janice Chance, the president of Gold Star Mothers Maryland chapter. Chance herself volunteered thousands of hours and drove nearly 15,000 miles last year volunteering. Von Seal Farmer, Army Community Services Army Volunteer Corps Coordinator, Colonel Rickard and Garrison Command Sergeant Major Brian Cullen then presented the annual awards. Staff Sergeant Angel Rodriguez of the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade is the active duty volunteer of the year. He was nominated by the Enlisted Spouses Club. The Civilian Volunteer of the Year is Michelle Brittingham from the Fort Meade Tax Center. Fort Meade's Youth Volunteer of the Year is Caitlin Shibaliski from the Post Thrift Shop. Gary and Kelly Swanson were recognized as the Volunteer Family of the Year for their work at the Casualty Assistance Center. The Organization of the Year went to the Fort Meade USO, and the Volunteer Military Unit of the Year Award went to the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion. On behalf of Command Sergeant Major and on behalf of my uh, commander, Major General Michael Howard, I sincerely thank each of you for everything that you do to make life at Fort Meade a wonderful experience. In other news, Fort Meade's Environmental Section's annual Earth Day celebration seems to get just a little bit bigger every year. This year's event attracted more than 50 exhibits and displays. Live animals are always a big attraction, and this year there was a tremendous variety. Maybe the first time a gator has been seen in the Fort Meade Pavilion. You can touch it if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. Birds of prey, of course, always draw a big crowd. It's Maryland, so there must be turtles. Sleeping hedgehogs, bobwhite quail, snakes, and more. Earth Day is an annual event held worldwide. It was first celebrated in 1970 in support of environmental protection. One veteran who's certainly doing his part is Justin Garrity. Garrity, the guest speaker of this year's celebration, is the founder and president of Veteran Compost. Veteran Compost collects food waste, composts it, and then turns it into products for sale like organic compost, potting, and gardening soils. Garrity started the business eight years ago after five years in the Army as a combat engineer. In December of 2009, I uh, was awarded a Bronze Star and some other awards as I left Iraq. And then four months later, uh, I was unemployed. And in June of 2010, I actually filed for unemployment for the state of Pennsylvania. Veteran Compost now has 16 full-time employees, most of whom are veterans like Garrity. Primarily, we hire veterans and family members of veterans. I ended up in this position because I couldn't find a job, so I enjoy helping other people get employed. And so all of our workforce in D.C. at our Virginia facility is veterans uh, from the Navy, Marines, and the Army. And the majority of our workforce in Aberdeen, uh, right outside the Proving Grounds, is either former military or former DOD civilians. Just go to VeteranCompost.com if you want to find out more. Meanwhile, Murphy Fieldhouse is hosting the first Army 10-mile or qualifying race on Friday, May 4th. It all starts at 6.30 in the morning. The top male and female runners will be selected later in the year to represent Fort Meade at this year's race. Any active duty service member assigned to Fort Meade is eligible to compete. Contact MWR Sports, Fitness and Aquatics Manager Lauren Williams for registration information. And finally, one more reminder from Club Me, the very popular Mother's Day brunch is coming up on Mother's Day, May 13th. There are two seatings from 11 to 1 and from 2.30 to 4.30. It's open to all DOD ID card holders and their guests. Reservations are recommended. Once again, call Club Mead at 301-677-6969. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.